Hello and welcome to the session. In this video, let's discuss about called that is computational learning theory. So let's first understand what is computational learning theory. So basically, called is a subfield of artificial intelligence. It focuses on design and analysis of machine learning algorithms. So the goal here is to understand the complexities and capabilities of the learning process from a mathematical standpoint. So called basically includes evaluating how much training data is required for a machine learning model to be successful. It includes how complex the model should be and how to measure the model's performance and improvement over the time. So the foundations of computer, uh, computational learning theory is basically deeply rooted in mathematics, particularly in probability theory, statistics, information theory and complexity theory. And one of the key concepts in computational learning theory is PAC. PAC stands for Probably Approximately Correct Learning Framework. This was introduced by Leslie Valiant in 1984. There's another important concept in computational learning theory called as VC dimensions. VC stands for wapnik shervonox dimension, which was introduced by Vladimir and Alexei. So basically the PAC learning framework, the goal here is to find a hypothesis that is probably approximately correct. That's why it's called PAC, probably approximately correct. So the goal here is to find a hypothesis, a hypothesis that is probably approximately correct. Probably in the sense it should have a high probability, approximately in the sense with some amount of error threshold. So this framework will define a learning algorithm success in terms of its ability to produce the hypothesis that can generalize well to unseen data given a limited number of training samples. So PAC learning helps in determining the complexity and computational complexities of your learning algorithm. On the other hand, VC dimension measures the capacity of a statistical classification algorithm. VC dimensions can be used to define the cardinality of the largest set of points that the algorithms can shatter. So basically this has deals with the measurement of statistical classification algorithm. So in simpler terms, you can say that VC dimension is a measure of the complexity of the model in relation to how well it can learn from the training data without overfitting. So next question is when it is applied. When is computational learning theory applied? See, suppose an organization task, it involves the father, uh, suppose it involves the task of categorizing the input data. Then you can go for computational learning theory because it can aid or assist the process in learning the categories or learning the concepts. So basically, CALT will help in assigning the new data points to those learned categories. So example predictive modeling, where the goal of predictive modeling is to use the data to find future events or future trends. So the applications and implications of called us by understanding the theoretical limits and capabilities of learning algorithm, the researchers can design better algorithms that are tailored for a specific problem. And therefore, it will lead to more efficient learning processes, more accurate predictive models, which are crucial for applications like natural language processing, computer vision, and bioinformatics. To summarize, CALT is a specialized field of study of machine learning. CALT deals with how well a learning algorithm can generalize from the training data to unseen instances. CALT deals with formal methods for learning systems. It deals with frameworks for quantifying the learning task and learning algorithms. And there are two uh, main uh, uh, mathematical uh, concepts, PAC and VC dimensions. The focus of PAC is quantification of the computational difficulty of the learning task and focus of VC dimensions is quantification of the computation capacity. Quantif in the quantification in the sense measurement. Okay, So PAC focuses on measurement of computational difficulties of your learning task in any ML algorithms, whereas VC will deal with measurement of the computational capacity of your algorithms. 
so therefore cult has uses many concepts like theoretical computer science it uh, uses the AI statistics probability and a lot of math concepts therefore the core of cult is the concept of the learning framework and coming to the applications cult explores different different models of learning in supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning and online learning so thank you so much any doubts please let me know in the comment box thank you